Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as the title suggests, today is Fragrance Friday where we're all gonna talk all about fragrances. And I'm happy to announce that this is actually a tag I saw go up yesterday being Thursday, the 21st of January. Manah Hill from Perfume Realm posted this video. I was like, oh my gosh, I have not done a video like this uh, at all ever. And she said that she was tagged by the lovely Anna Absolute. If you know Anna, you probably watch both of these ladies. They're beautiful. Anna is in Alaska and Manah Hill is in Illinois. I think it's Chicago. And of course I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. The tag is Cuddle Fragrances. Our best cuddle fragrances in our collection. And I have actually selected quite a few. Before we get started here, I'm going to tell you what's on my nails. I have purchased recently this Essie Gel Couture nail in polish. the color 350 Gallivanting. And it's this beautiful blood red, beautiful color. Love it. And very easy to take off. Uh, I have really small nail beds, great brush. I love everything about this. It lasts a long time, great. So on my lips, I lined and filled with this lip pencil from Milani. And it is the color statement lip liner in color number nine, which is Spice. And then on top, I filled my entire lip in with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And on top is something that these two you can get drugstore here, high end, probably Sephora, Ulta, that kind of thing, or on Charlotte Tilbury's website. This one, however, has been discontinued. This is from Bite Beauty, which is a Canadian company. Um, this is in color, the color is Salted Caramel in their Bite uh, Beauty French Press Lip Gloss. But I know uh, you can find this in Home Sense, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you know, that kind of thing. You can find those now and I know they're very inexpensive. So that's why I have them topped on to give me a little bit of a gloss. Cuddling fragrances. I am 42, I am married. <laughs> so the gig is up, right? But what I'm going to show you are the fragrances that I feel are very cuddle worthy. And these are my own opinion. They may not be opinions of everybody else and that's totally fantastic and fine. Every nose has their own opinion, right? right? I think, I hope so. First up, I have Dior Poison Girl. And I chose this one for a cuddle fragrance because I actually feel this is, I know a lot of the younger reviewers on YouTube, they tend to say this is a clubbing fragrance. First of all, we're not clubbing anywhere. Like, hello, we're not clubbing. I'm also 42, I haven't been to a nightclub unless I was an officer and I had to go and do a walkthrough. I would go to the bathroom to check the bathrooms out. If you know, you know, um, that kind of thing. So to a lot of people, they were saying that this would be a great clubbing fragrance, a great, you know, attractive, attracting a male partner or female partner fragrance. To me, at this point in this stage of the game, 42, like I said, we aren't going anywhere. I want to say that this is a beautiful fragrance that I know it doesn't last a super long time, which I also think it's perfect for cuddling. It's very fruity, very bold, very sweet. Um, I would say definitely more so sweet. Poison Girl Eau de Toilette is described as bitter orange, grass rose, the Venezuelan tonka bean, and it's beautiful. Um, on the initial blast, I definitely get that beautiful bright orange, but the tonka bean really is where this sort of just... It's, it's just amazing. It's there's, That's where it settles. The tonka bean, the richness, the warmth. And again, I'm talking about comforting fragrances. I definitely would consider this a comforting fragrance. Next on my list, I have two Kaeli fragrances. Uh, both of them are amazing. This one has to be hands down my absolute favorite one. You smell like a vanilla cookie. Like I cannot stress this enough. It is so cuddle worthy if you like sweet fragrances. So Vanilla 28 from Kaeli is absolutely scrumptious. It's sugary, caramelly. Oh, it's so good, you guys. This is very much, you have to love sweet fragrances to really get into this, yeah. really into the sweetness. I would layer it with Kaeli's Elixir 11. These two together are amazing. Just a gorgeous scent, caramelly, creamy, sweet. And then you add Elixir 11. And to me, this is a dewy, fresh cut red rose and a fresh red apple. And then when you meet this together, I think of Snow White. <laughs> like this is definitely Snow White um, with the red apple and the rose. And then you throw this and it throws it all for a loop and it's so good. It's like a caramel apple with rose infused um, caramel, I guess, but that's how I feel. I always lay that this one down first and I layer this one on top. I do find that this one lasts a little bit longer. That's the vanilla 28 than this one. 
both together is absolutely smashing. This is Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture scent in the scent gold. Top notes are wild berries, sambic jasmine, and honeysuckle. Base notes are sandalwood, golden amber, caramel, and vanilla elixir. This is just beautiful. It's definitely for me an evening scent. Oh, I can smell it in the cap. I mean, this is a pretty bold, bold packaging. <laughs> um, it smells really good. And again, it's one of those fragrances that lasts maybe three, four hours before it kind of fizzles away. So it's perfect for a body scent, it's close to you skin scent, someone who's going to cuddle with you, watch TV, you know, a movie, that kind of thing. And we're probably doing a lot more of that this time of year up in the northern hemisphere and also because we can't go very far these days. So I absolutely adore this one and I have been wearing this to bed a little bit. Highly recommend this one. And since we're on the Viva La Juicy kick, I thought I'd add Noir. So this is a beautifully scented uh, perfume that is just a little, I find a little sweeter than the gold couture that we just spoke of. Top notes read berries and mandarin. Mid notes are honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, and base notes are amber, caramel, vanilla, and sandalwood. So I do find this to be a little, I know it says noir. I find the gold one to be a little bit more deep, deep and dark, which is odd because I know this is called noir. This is just my nose. But this is really nice. I, ha I feel like there's a little bit more, there is definitely more floral in this one than the gold, but it's just beautiful. Like the top notes on all Juicy Coutures are about the same. They've got the same kind of um, mandarin notes, like the fruity berries, that kind of thing. It's just what they do with their mid notes and their base notes that really depict what the, each of these scents are. This one to me is just a beautiful, you really girly, not too floral. I'm not a huge floral fan. So I still really enjoy this. So I do love it. And it's very smartly with a black, black tie. So love this one, you guys. Next up, we have from Atelier Cologne Vanille and Sanse. There is like a, oh, it's so good, you guys. This to me, again, unfortunately with this one, it doesn't last very long for me. Again, perfect for cuddling. You spray this on and you're going to smell it when you're nice and close. This, um, I believe... It's just, it's just a beautiful balance. I love the vanilla in this one. It's not like any other vanilla I have. Notes are lime, cedrat, coriander, jasmine, vetiver, oak moss, vanilla, oak wood, and amber. And I think all like, that's what makes this so different. It's just not a sweet vanilla like, like I introduced to you about the Kaoli uh, Vanilla 20. I would absolutely, oh, I love this one, you guys. Um, I know that when I go through this, I will get the largest size that they sell because I do enjoy it. I do find this one to be better for more of the winter months than the summer months because it is quite heady. But again, it kind of becomes a skin scent because I don't find a lot from this brand to stick around on my clothes or my skin for very, very long. So that's why I think it also make a good cuddle scent because also who doesn't love vanilla? There may be a small handful of people out there, but most people love vanilla. This is Replicas by The Fireplace and this is so delightful. I love this for the fall or autumn and into winter months. Um, oh, if you are cuddling, watching Netflix or whatever you're watching, um, or you're just reading and you're just like together on the couch reading and you spray this and you have a fire going in your home or, you know, or you have the fake, have the fake fire like a lot of us, like myself right now, I don't have a fireplace in a condo. You have the faux flat fireplace on your TV. And this really truly makes me, ugh. this is very, very much a campfire and the best vanilla. The best way I can describe it are those of you who are also here for my candle and wax melt reviews. This one to me is very much a spot on dupe for Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. I love this one, you guys. It is so good. Again, unisex, men, women, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. The, the vanilla in here is just whipped and sm yummy and smothery. And then you've got a little bit of that smokiness from a fireplace that's not too much. And it's just a perfect balance. And again, it's one of those fragrances that when I do go through this, I will buy the largest bottle. They have. I think they only have one size bottle, but I will definitely get a bottle of this when I'm done. This one, I have something in my eye. I seriously can't see anything right now. Next up, we have Mansara Paris Velvet Vanilla, and this is a fantastic smell. Um, if you love tuberose, which is, I never, 
I, honestly, I don't think tuberose has been in any of my fragrances up until me purchasing this particular one. This is so lovely. And I will say this is a great cuddle scent if you're cuddling. I love this one perhaps more in the summertime. If you're cuddling or sitting outside next to each other on your patio and you're just like chilling, relaxing. This is beautiful. It is a floral and it is a tuberose, but I feel on, at least on my body, this ends up drying down to a really, really rich vanilla. Velvet vanilla is described as mandarin orange, angelica, pear, clove, pink pepper, black currant. Mid notes are rose, jasmine, neroli, and tuberose. And our base notes are vanilla and white musk. What's not left to like about this? This one's a heavy hitter though. So when you're gonna have a cuddle time and you might wanna use this one, spray one time. <laughs> Once is all you need. It is very strong. As you can see, I barely look like I've dipped into this and I've used it probably a half dozen times. But six different times I've used it because you don't need much. So you guys, I would absolutely suggest this one. I would think I personally would like this as cuddle time in the summer months. So that's Mansarad's Velvet Vanilla. You knew this was going to make it in here. I know you did. I know you're waiting for it. <laughs> Nishane is Ani. Again, this one to me is the peak of coldness. So here in Nova Scotia, Canada, our coldest months are generally February, March. Uh, we tend to get most of the snow at that point in time. This is one spray and you sprayed it at lunchtime and your significant other is going to come over and you guys are going to have a Netflix and chill evening sesh. You'll still smell this. It will smell amazing. He will want, he or she will want to wear this. Absolutely. Um, This one is just, well, you guys already know if you've been on my channel for long enough, you guys know I love this fragrance. It's my number one fragrance in my entire collection. I will never be without a, <laughs> without this fragrance. The top notes for Nishane Ani is bergamot green notes, ginger and pink pepper. Mid notes are black currant, Turkish rose, cardamom, and base notes are patchouli, cedar, vanilla, benzoin, ambergris, musk, and sandalwood. The What I get initially is a blast of ginger, then I get the green notes, and I get the cardamom, and then this, it's just, it's the vanilla at the end that is just, it's, it's just, it's more than cuddle worthy. Like, it's just so good. I don't know how else to express my feelings on this. You guys probably know that how much I love this. Cuddle away, folks. Cuddle away. Last but not least, we have from Comtois Sud Pacifique. My favorite of the entire line is the Vanilla Coco. And I've said this before in a rundown. If I remember, I'll put it on the cards above. I did a rundown of all the different four fragrances I have of this. I love all of them, but what happens is all the other ones that have ap apricot or blackberry or what have you in them, banana, I have that one too, dries down to this lovely, lovely masterpiece. This one is absolutely scrumptious. It's a total Netflix and chill. It is beautiful. I know Manal Hill, she loved the apricot vanilla or the vanilla apricot. I do agree. It's my second favorite one, but I do find that this is what most of those other ones end up drying down to. And this is the one I will likely purchase in a full size first. As you can see, I'm down. I want to eat my left arm. So I'm sure that your partner will want to do that too. Just don't do that because yuck. The notes on this one are really, really simple. It's heliotrope, coconut milk, and Tahitian vanilla. I love vanilla. I'm a vanilla lover, but there are many different forms of vanilla. And this one to me is 100% summertime. I love this one. The Tahitian vanilla is not necessarily a boozy vanilla. It's the, the best coconut cookie you'll ever have smelled. This is so good, you guys. Comforting got and cozy, definitely snuggle worthy scrumptious you literally feel like this smells like the best sun tan lotion i have ever smelled in my life oh this is so all good. right you guys that is everything again i want to say thank you to manal hill for uploading her video yesterday i had a blast watching it today that i'm, I'm filming this for you i just finished watching it i was like what i'm gonna do for fragrance friday that sounds awesome and again to Anna Absolute, I love her. She's so great. And I finally got to make a live, I made one of her live videos. I never get a chance because we're such, time zones are very different. So as always, you guys, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.